Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PETZ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And in this situation, makes mapping out a very logical question, very straightforward. That question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice movement. When you consider where the price was at its lower points on the day, down around 50, and then where it ultimately closed all the way up there, any rational person would say, yeah, the price certainly made a very nice move today. But that does lead to the valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make mapping out that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at 57 cents. Why is 57 important? Well, hopefully we can agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 57 cents. If the price were to come down to 57 and then just continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, from a very literal perspective, that would be putting the price right back inside of this range that the price just broke out of. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, or true strength, or anything like that. Whereas if the price pulled back, however, in this situation, behave like this and then started to work its way back upwards, what would you have in this set of circumstances? Well, you'd have lows right there. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, quote unquote progress, again, being defined as 57 cents. What about levels of resistance going forward? As of right now, it's all about this area right up there at 65 cents. Going back through the history of things, you can see that on several occasions now including today, the price has been rejected by that area. So I'm not saying it's impossible to break through 65. I'm just saying that apparently, according to the story that's being told to us via the chart, the price is really gonna need to bring its A game if it's gonna be able to not only break above 65, but stay up above it. So that'll definitely be the key area going forward. All in all though, anyway, look at it, very nice bounce today. Not just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward, we will see. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.